Earlier today we got news of a massive new addition to the game, a battle pass, one that plays out much like the ones we've seen Fortnite and Apex Legends. Today I'll bring you guys everything you need to know on exactly how this works, my honest opinion on the battle pass and also a little more information on the seasonal artifact. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Ok so earlier today Bungie dropped a post on two seasonal reward chases for us as Destiny 2 players. The post itself is pretty damn big but if you do want to read through it all you can you'll find it linked within the video description. Today I just want to cover the two, uh, basically the two seasonal reward chases for us and the first one being the artifact. This is what they state. Our first edition is the new seasonal artifact which is free to all players. This will allow you to further customise your Guardian's build every season by unlocking additional mods to suck it in your armor 2.0 gear. Earning XP just by playing will level up your artifact, letting you unlock the next mod you want for your characters. While leveling up and unlocking mods, you will also increase the power of the artifact, which will continue increasing until the end of the season. Yes, it is uncapped. Artifact power adds directly to your overall power and is account wide. We're both excited and a little terrified to see how high players will manage to raise their artifact power during the season. We want the artifact to let us experiment more freely with our sandbox. During the last 5 years of Destiny, we've really wrestled with and continue to wrestle with obsolescence and permanence in player power. So when we were coming up with something new in the seasonal artifact, we wanted to figure out how we could have a system that allowed players to create, build or ruin powers, yet not need to commit indefinitely to whatever they made and have it live on forever. We want to date new builds, not get them hitched into the forever combat ecosystem. Seasonal artifacts and seasonal mods will go away at the end of each season, and the new season will bring a new artifact, new mods and a new pursuit for power. This way we can try bolder balance choices each season with the sandbox and if we get it a little wrong we'll be more likely to let it ride for the whole season without nerfing your new favourite OP build. So yeah the artifact looks pretty cool I'm actually really excited to actually experiment with this and the builds we can do with this thing and now we know that upgrading your artifact unlocks uh, perks for your armors and so forth and it's actually really interesting to actually know that there is an unlimited power level chase. That is something I cannot wait to get into. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so seasonal XP progression they're going to talk about. The second predictable reward chase we're adding to seasons are season pass ranks. Some of you might have spotted this on August 14th armor stream, but we didn't provide any context. Without context, it's really easy to find yourself on a jump to conclusions mat. Let's talk about these ranks. We want to make sure that each season has multiple complementary reward sources because we all play Destiny differently and we want to be able to customise our Guardians the way we want to. We will continue to have RNG rewards as part of our activities and we also want to add a direct track of rewards each season that you can progress every evening. The best weapons and armor will still live in the treasure chests of our toughest monsters and villains, but we hope now there will be fewer nights where players feel like they have logged into Destiny and got nothing done. The internet is talking a lot about different builds in games. Season ranks are kind of like a build for playing a season of Destiny, grabbing bounties, doing strikes, completing weekly challenges. These are straightforward ways to unlock season pass ranks when you don't have the time to arrange a raid group or check google for the right strategies to solve a problem or gamble against RNG where it feels like the house always wins the ranks help our friends in the community who have families and or have full time jobs or who are deep in finals territory at college sometimes you just want to log in, grab some bounties, shoot some aliens or guardians, earn XP and chill with your friends that's why we've added 100 ranks to earn each season with free and premium track rewards plus a UX design that's intuitive and familiar if you play other games. Unlike those other games you will make progress by earning XP doing the things you're already doing in Destiny. Defeating monsters and completing bounties and activities. This is about a new addictive layer of predictable rewards for just playing the game. And they're going to showcase an actual image of what the battle pass will look like. Now it's clear that the actual top line is the free one and the bottom line is the paid one. They're going to talk more about this actual battle pass. It's all part of the season. With every season pass you will get everything you would expect from a Destiny season. New activities, rewards, a storyline, etc. 
not just a new season of Rank UI and reward tracks. Like I alluded to way back in the first director's cut, we need more sustainable ways to deliver rewards. And the season Rank UI is a big step in us getting there. So now, with all this context, let's take a look at what you, Season Pass owners, get in Season of the Undying, which again is included with Shadow Keep. Season Pass owners get access to a new seasonal activity, the Vex Offensive, which includes 4 legendary weapon drops, additional weekly and daily bounties, additional weekly challenges with powerful rewards, a new weapon quest for an exotic bow, Leviathan's Breath, exclusive to Season Pass owners, a new exotic hand cannon, Ariana's Vow, Awarded on rank 35 of the free track, awarded on rank 1 of the premium track, 3 seasonal legendary armor sets, 1 for each class, collect a complete set during the first 25 ranks of the free track. Note this is a change from the annual pass where you were required to purchase gear from the season. On the premium track you'll get all 3 sets on rank 1. They also drop within the Vex Offensive Seasonal Activity. If you want versions with higher stat tiers, you will need to play Vex Offensive to earn them. Some additional premium chat rewards, 3 Universal Ornament Armor Sets, 1 for each class, an Exotic Weapon Ornament for the Ariana's Vow, 2 Legendary Weapon Ornaments, a new Finisher, an Exotic Emote, an Exotic Ship. So yeah people, in case you are wondering, you will have to purchase Shadow Keep, it doesn't have to be the Deluxe Edition, and you will get access to this um, Battle Pass and that premium track. The free track I do believe is for people and players who actually don't purchase Shadow Keep and pick up Destiny with New Light. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. But the one thing I ain't actually certain on is the fact that if you don't purchase Shadow Keep, I mean I know I mean, most people, everybody, 99% of people watching this video will be purchasing Shadow Keep. But the people that don't, I mean, I'm a content creator. I got to look out for everybody, even though you guys know I would 100% be purchasing this. I'm not sure about weapons being locked behind um, people actually parting with money because that's what we are seeing here. Unless you actually purchase Shadow Keep, you won't get access to the exotic uh, bow quest, the Leviathan's Breath, which, like I said, is basically a weapon locked behind uh, you parting with your money and also season pass owners get access to a new activity a new seasonal activity the vex offensive which includes four legendary weapon drops additional weekly and daily bounties and additional weekly challenges for powerful rewards so i'm a little iffy on that but other than that people i do think this is an amazing addition to the game it's just something else for us to chase i mean for the simple fact of them adding unlimited levels for us to chase via xp that's amazing, but getting 100 additional rewards with a battle pass also is incredible too. And these include 3 exotics, so that's pretty epic. The exotic hand cannon new, the Ariana's Vow, which is awarded on rank 1 to the premium track owners, which is basically anyone who purchases the Shadow Keep, and awarded on rank 35 for the free track. So it's a free exotic right there people. That's pretty cool. And this just gives players a better incentive to actually come on and play the game. And an unlimited power rank to chase is another incentive too. Now they do go on to talk about what players who get new light will actually um, be able to play. So this is what they state. All Destiny 2 players, whether you're coming in with new light or are all in with Shadow Keep and Season of the Undying, will have access to the following. Patrol in the Moon Destination, the opening mission of Shadow Keep, two new strikes, crucible updates, two returning PvP maps from the D1 era, Widow's Course and Twilight Gap, Two of my favourite maps, Illumination and Crucible Tabs, Armor 2.0, Build Customization, Eye of the Gate Lord Seasonal Artifact, New Finishers, Two New Pinnacle Weapons, One for Gambia and One for Crucible, Three Seasonal Rank Rewards which include a new exotic weapon, the Ariana's Vow, Three Legendary Armor Sets, One per Class, Two Legendary Weapons, Best of Year 2 Bright Engrams, Glimmer and Upgrade Modules. So that's pretty cool, two people. Now back to that battle pass, I'm actually seriously curious to see what that 100 level reward will be. There's an exotic ornament for the Ariana's Vow, which is the hand cannon, but could that be a level 100 reward? I'm not too sure. But judging on what we see here people, it looks pretty promising. So yeah, I cannot wait for that. But tell me your opinion on this down below within that comment section people. Do you welcome a battle pass, a new way in earning rewards? As long as it doesn't take out the RNG that we all love with Destiny because that's literally 
the main thing in my opinion behind this and that keeps a lot of people coming back it's basically the fact and the randomization of rewards behind doing certain things that's what's addictive playing and not knowing what you're gonna get that is what keeps bringing people back in my opinion and that's what destiny is all about hopefully this battle pass this season pass whatever doesn't affect the rng we love with destiny on that note guys we have come to the end if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps us tell me your opinions on the time below in the comment section and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one